Hotep, I, and the Amen Osiris, the one and only undisputed god of law. We are deception stoppers, the 4D destroyers. I am not a lawyer. This is not a law firm. I do not advocate you don't support your human offspring. I simply advocate you made them in private, then you take care of them in private. And I'm going to be happy to announce the, I'm going to be hosting the discharge arrears by operation of law technique. Okay. I'm going to teach you how to discharge arrears by operation of law. Okay. This is Thursday, November 7th, 7 to 9 p.m. or Friday, November 8th, 7 to 9 p.m. And this is Eastern time. Donation is $50 per seat. Okay. And what I'm going to teach you, all right, a couple little steps. All right, that I'll show you how to put together and use. Now, uh, I'm going to be quoting the uh, glossary of common child support uh, terms. A rearage, pass to unpaid child support owed by what? The non-custodial pay rent, all right? Oh, to bound, to be bound to do or omit something, especially to pay a debt. All right, the word bound, contract as, contract as meant by bound, all right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go over and I'm going to show you, gentlemen, you do not have to reinvent the wheel. I'm going to teach you how to use 42 USC uh, 666A4. OK, and this is how you put, uh, you're, well, I'm going to show you how to put a lien. Procedures under which liens arise by operation of law against the real and personal property for amounts of overdue support owed by a non-custodial pay rent who resides or owns property in the state. What is operation of law? The manner of which liabilities develop upon a person by mere application to the particular transaction, that's Title IV D transaction, of the established rules of law without the act or cooperation of the party himself. So I'm going to show you how to discharge arrears without the act or cooperation of the 4D crime family. Okay, and we're going to use, we're using, all we're doing is we're going to use their information against them. This applies to anybody, gentlemen. All right, but more importantly, if it's owed by the non-custodial pay rent, that's automatic discharge right there. Because guess what? Non-custodial pay rent is what? Is property, right? And that non that property resides in a state, does it not? And who owns that property that resides in that state? All right, so. Come on down, learn the discharge for the arrears by operation of law technique. All right, this Thursday, the 7th, 7 to 9, Friday, the 8th, 7 to 9, Eastern Time. Okay, and I will teach you how to write this up, and I will teach you how to use it. Okay, and worst case scenario, um, anybody, if you, um, what I will do is I'll, I'll send you a, uh, uh, a copy of this information because we're going to be, we're going to be going over it. And more importantly, gentlemen, it is very important that you start looking up words, words, words are very important. Let's go to Black's Laws and look at arrearage. OK, arrears, indebtedness, money unpaid at the due time as rent behind. What kind of rent? Pay rent. <laughs> the remain. <laughs> All right, I'm stupid. The remainder due after payment of a part of an account. What account? 4D account. Money in the hands of an accounting party. That would be the distribution center, wouldn't it? Okay. Look, overdue and unpaid. That's arrears. Where where the arrears come from? Where the debt come from? Okay. How are you responsible for that debt? Remember, the, the burden of proof rests on he who asserts, not he who denies. So the, 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 the crime family that is asserting that you, you owe this debt and you're bound to this debt, okay, they have to prove, number one, who actually owes that debt and who is bound to that debt. And until they do that, <laughs> all right, they have nothing against you. So, so we're going to show you basically how to default yourself out of the – default them and remove the rears off of you. Okay, there's two different techniques we'll show you, but this is the information that we're coming from. I will see you either Thursday or Friday. Uh, I'm sorry, if you wish to attend, shoot me an email and let me know what day you want to attend. All right, I will send you the request. All right, once that request is done, 
I will send you the information that you're going to be using for the class and the link. I'm the Ahmed Osiris. I look forward to seeing everybody Thursday and Friday. Hotel.